Labor government that the Victorian community is not duped by their fake version of a feed-in tariff, and to call on the opposition and minor parties to improve the bill in the parliament to ensure continued growth of our solar industry and solar panels across Victorian roofs, to encourage new green solar jobs, to make sure we're reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and to ensure a bright and sunny solar future for this state. Now, you know, what is it about this current feed-in tariff? I mean, the thing is that they say, oh yes, we want to support solar power, but then they say well, you can't put on more than 12 panels on your roof, 2 kilowatts, now they've upped it to uh, slightly more, it's now 3.2 kilowatts you can put on your roof, but the thing is that it's a half-hearted feed-in tariff, the one we've got at the moment. It's very, very disappointing. On Monday, the federal government's carbon pollution reduction scheme, so-called, um, which had already gone from bad to worse, went from worse to appalling. The, the carbon price for some of our biggest polluters will now be 50 cents per tonne of CO2 emissions in year one of the scheme. The price of a postage stamp. And guess who gets to pick up the tab for the polluters? We do. Yesterday, on Tuesday, yesterday, we had the state budget. Environment Victoria labelled it as a retro budget. It was as though it had been announced in 1989, not 2009. There was barely any mention of climate change. Then we also continually hear that um, the Brumby government couldn't support an effective feed-in tariff because it would cost all households a fortune, up to $100 a year, according to uh, Minister Batchelor. This is a lie. I wouldn't usually get up in front of a bunch of people publicly and say that one of our government ministers is lying, but this is a lie. Peter Batchelor knows it, his advisers know it, and the rest of the government knows it. And the reason I can say this so certainly is because the government spent probably around $80,000 to commission independent advice. They commissioned a report from MMA, one of the most respected modellers of climate change policy in Australia. MMA found in this report, which you can, which you, you can get a copy of from Environment Victoria if you're interested in it, it's been tabled in Parliament, they found that it would cost the average household between 7 and $8 a year.